heavenly place. I wanna see your face. Face to face. I'm on my way up. And I can't turn around. I'm on my way to a higher ground. I cannot go there with a junk in me. Take out all those things, Lord. I surrender me. Search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Search me, search me. to stand if you will stand at this time as we receive the pastor of this house none other than Bishop Thomas Davis say man let's shout by saying hallelujah praise praise the Lord everybody Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask today, I'm going to ask, amen, today, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, come to the altar this morning. If you don't mind, come to the altar, everybody, amen, come on to the altar, amen, this morning. Amen. As we together as one heart, one mind, amen, look to the Lord. Thank you, choir, for ministering to us, amen, today. How many of you really want the Lord to search you? Well, I saw a few hands. How many of you really want the Lord to search you. Amen. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Amen. I don't know why people are scared of the sinner. <laughs> come on. Come on in, y'all. Amen. Come on in. Amen. 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 We have a few We have a few on our, we have a few on our prayer list, amen, this morning, Mother Macklemore, I'm going to continue to pray, amen, for her, amen, we want to pray for Elder Partridge's wife who's in the hospital, we want to, all right, it's the mother of Elder Partridge's wife who's in the hospital. Man, and then that's what I thought. His wife's mother is in the hospital. Amen. We need a prayer with pneumonia. We also want to pray this morning for our first lady. Amen. Sister Denise Davis. Amen. Healing on her body. Amen. Today. Anybody else? My brother, Brother Nate. Yeah, Brother Nate. Anybody else? Yeah. Amen. The test. Okay. Okay. Needs right now healing. Yes. Just side.
am one. Michelle and all right, Michelle. Yes. Washington household. Yes. Alonzo Noble. Sweet Sam. Gabriel. Isabel. Hazel. Amen. There are some conditions that are in the house right now. Amen. And we're asking God to regulate, heal, give peace. Hallelujah. From the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is able to heal you right now. In the name of Jesus. Can you do it? Yeah, Jesus. Mother Joan, yes. Cherie LaFall. All right. Cherie LaFall. Special. In the name of it doesn't take God a long time. But can I see the hands of those that have faith to believe that God will? God will do it right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> we claim, we claim, we claim. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. Father, we simply just come before you with thanksgiving, recognizing, acknowledging that you are our God. And Father, there are some special needs right now in this sanctuary. Physical, emotional, And we ask now, God, of your peace to regulate the body from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. Somebody just say simply peace. Peace in the name of Jesus. The peace of the Lord. Hallelujah. That surpasses all understanding. We thank you, Father. The names that have been called even this day, the hands that have been raised today, we simply submit ourselves before you and thank you right now, God, for what you're yet doing as we recognize you as our Lord and our Savior this first Sunday that you've given it to us. Father, to come before you and to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. We simply stand before you as one heart and one mind. In the name of Jesus, thanking you for the victory in our family's life. Thank you, Lord God, for divine healing in the name of Jesus. Every name that has been called. Come on, put your hands together and give God praise for the name. <laughs> Hallelujah. God, we submit them before you right now. We thank you in the name of Jesus. That, Lord God, in this self-same hour that we're giving you the praise. Hallelujah. That we're giving you the honor. That, God, you are working miracles right now. God, you're turning the situations, oh God, around. We give you praise right now for giving us the spirit of a go-through. Oh, God, a determination. In the name of Jesus, thank you for divine healing. Thank you, oh, God, for a breakthrough right now. In the name of Jesus, thank you for dispatching your angels. God, to minister, oh, God, to our heart. Minister unto our spirit that God will not walk away from this altar. God, without you touching Hallelujah. And we thank you. For those that are not here, we claim victory right now in their bodies. Oh, God, we thank you for what you're yet doing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Satan will serve you. Notice, hallelujah, that the blood of Jesus 
the blood of Jesus is against you right now. And we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for divine direction. Come on, believe the Lord right now for divine direction. Thank you, Jesus. You are a prayer answering God. And we want to thank you right now for divine direction. We want to thank you for words of life and truth in the name of Jesus. You said we can come boldly before the throne of grace. Oh, God, in time of need, and there is a need right now in the name of Jesus. God, there's some things that are before you right now, and we claim victory. God, even as the words come, even as the phone calls come, God, and we thank you for the testimony. Come on and praise God for the testimony of victory. Hallelujah. Victory in the name. I believe it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That is done. According to your faith, so be it. So be it. I believe it was the woman with the issue of blood that determined in her heart and in her mind that if I can but just touch the hem of his garment, you are right now before the presence of the Lord. And if you can just believe that and just touch the hem of his Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody, somebody can say today, he touched me. Hallelujah. He touched me. He touched me. He touched me and he made. Hallelujah. He made me. He made me whole. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the victory in Jesus' name. Just give your brother and sister who you're close to, just give them a good hug. And say, thank you, Lord, for deliverance. Thank you, Lord, for healing. Thank you, word, Lord, for the word of life. In the name of Jesus, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Let go. Let go and let God. Believe the Lord. Believe the Lord. Believe the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Somebody may ask you a question. What's new? I want to speak into your spirit. Amen. Today, the answer is me. What's new? Me. Turn to your neighbor and tell, ask your neighbor, say, neighbor, what's new? And your reply is me. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. Old things are passed away. Hallelujah. Behold, all things are become new. Can you believe that today? Amen. That I am a new creature. God loves me. And I love him. How about you today? Song. Amen. We sometimes sing higher ground. Higher ground. I'm pressing on the upward way, new heights I'm gaining every day, still praying as I onward bound, Lord plant my feet on higher ground, Lord lift me up and let me stand, my faith on heaven's stable lamb, a higher place that I have found. Lord, 
plant my feet on higher ground. My heart has no desire to stay where horizons and fears is me. Though some may dwell where these abound, my prayer, my aim is higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. My faith on him, but stable land, a higher plane. Lord, I am found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. My faith on him, but stable land, a higher plane. my feet on high your ground I want to live above the world though Satan not at me a hurl for faith has called the joyful sound the song of saints on high your ground oh Lord lift me up and let me stand, my faith on heaven, stable land, a higher place. Lord, I have found, Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. I want to scale the utmost heights and catch a gleam of glory bright. But still I pray, till heaven I found, Lord, lead me on to higher ground. Lord, lead me Let me stay and my faith on heaven, stable land, a higher place. Oh, I am found. Oh, Lord, let my feet on higher ground. Oh, Lord, lift me up and let me stay and my faith on heaven, stable land. A higher place, Lord, I have found. Lord, plant my feet on. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Plant my feet on higher ground. Oh, Lord, plant my feet. Plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. My faith on heaven, a stable land, a higher place. Lord, I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Hallelujah. That is our hearts, Woo! our hearts desire. Hallelujah. That the Lord will plant our feet on higher. Higher ground. The psalmist must have experienced, amen, some things, hallelujah, in their life. <laughs> and of a 
surety today, brothers and sisters, we can say that we're experiencing some things in our life. But I'm pressing on. In the name of in the name of the Lord. Your own mind can make this mic less hot. I would appreciate it. In the name of the Lord. In the book of Philippians, the third chapter. If you don't mind, we'll look. Man, in the word of the Lord. In 2 Corinthians chapter number 4, the Lord be our our helper on today. Thank God for a new year. Well, there's one that thanks God for a new year. It's been a new look outlook, a new outlook, amen, on, on life. One of the things that I'm doing is I'm looking forward, not backwards. I'm thanking God for the experiences, amen, that he's allowed us to go through, but I'm thanking him for the grace to go further. I'm thanking him for being a God who forgives us of all of our sins. Can I get a witness this morning? How many of you know that God is a forgiver? Amen. Of all your sins. Sometimes we take it for granted. Amen. But I thank God for the word of God that declares that it's not God's will that any man should perish, but that all men come to repentance. I don't think we preach it, teach it enough. But we find ourselves in the society that we are, are living in that people are saying, it's okay. Continue to do what you do. But if you have the Holy Ghost on the inside, it's telling you not so. Can I get a witness, somebody? And it is important for us to declare to others what thus saith the Lord. The Lord is coming soon. And we've got to make ourselves ready to meet him. None of us know the day nor the hour, but how many of you feel an urgency to be ready? A few of y'all. Okay, the rest of y'all, amen, will feel it in a little while. Amen. But it, it is important. Thank God for Brother Paul. And it, and it is because of his experience. Remember, it was Brother Paul that was persecuting the church, am I right? And in the midst of him persecuting the church because he had asked uh, for authority to do this, but in the midst of it, what did God do? God knocked him off his beast. God stopped him dead in his tracks. And God poured into him. First of all, he had to recognize who it was that has done it. It's sad today, amen, that people, amen, don't recognize God for who he is. God is all-powerful, almighty, all-knowing, amen? And it is important for us today to declare our God is alive and well. Can I get an amen? you got to understand, brothers and sisters, that the adversary and others who are being used by him would sh like to shut us up, would like to shut us down or cause us to be quiet about what God has done for us. But I'm so glad today in every opportunity that God gives us, we are declaring what God is doing. Has God done something for you this week? Did you tell somebody? Did you share it with somebody? Amen. So that they would know that God is real and he is a right now God. 
But the piece that we have to understand, brothers and sisters, is that, that, that Paul is helping us with in this particular passage of Scripture in the book of Philippians chapter number uh, chapter number 3. And, and in verse number 14 is where I want to share with you uh, this sermon on today to help us to understand and know that even though we have gained some things in life, we still have to press forward. Hallelujah. We still, brothers and sisters, have to claim our victory. And so Paul says, I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling in, of Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, it is important for us to know uh, today, amen, that we have to make our calling and our election sure. Paul also declares unto us that we have been given this ministry in earthen vessels and it is important for us to not faint. It is, it is important for us in this hour to have a desire to press forward. Yes, brothers and sisters, I've been lied on. Yes, I've been persecuted. Yes, I've been uh, uh, had things done to me that I didn't expect somebody to do to me that was close to me, but thank God that I'm here to tell the story. I'm here, brothers and sisters, to claim the victory over it and not allow it to keep me from doing what God has called me to do. All of us have those experiences in our life where things have happened to us and sometimes you want to sit down and do nothing. But I declare unto you today by the word of the Lord, brothers and sisters, that what God has called us to in this hour is to press forward towards the mark of the prize of the high calling. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 4, Paul also declares unto us in the 7th verse uh, of this particular chapter, uh, because see, what we have to understand, uh, brothers and sisters, that even though we're yoke fellows working together in uh, ministry, we have to understand that sometimes things don't always go right. Can I get a witness today? We have to under, understand that sometimes our personalities get in. And, and sometimes we just don't feel good. Can I get a witness today? But we've got to understand, we've got to put our feelings aside when it comes to the work of the ministry, when it comes to doing the work of the Lord so that God's will can be done and that God can be what? Glorify. So Paul is helping us here in the seventh verse of the uh, second chapter, uh, of the fourth chapter of Second Corinthians. He says, but we have this treasure. Come on, somebody. We have to understand that we have this treasure uh, in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of, a thank God for being saved. How many of you can say that today? born again of water and of spirit, filled with the gift and the power of the Holy Ghost. And, and that would, we used to say, that would a mighty burning, how many of y'all still have that fire? Yeah, well, okay. We're going to have to rekindle, amen, some folk here today, amen, to help us to understand that it's not by your own doing. It's not by anything that you and I have done. It's not based on the fact that I've been in the church all my life, but it's based on the fact that it's through God and not me. Because the power has got to be of God and not of us. So Paul says we are troubled on what? Every side. Even though we're troubled, even though we have problems, even though things come, we have to understand and know that, yes, it's going to come. But he says, what, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not what? In despair. And that's why uh, uh, many of us uh, like that uh, uh, little uh, toy we used to have, amen, when we were kids. It meant it was, it, it was a, a thing that you knocked it over and it bounced back. I don't know the name of it. But all I know as a kid, I'd knock it over and it bounced back. We've got to realize that we have something 
that even though we get knocked over, hello somebody, we have something within us that helps us to in the bottom, in the bottom of that thing, and the reason I know what was in the bottom of that thing, because I cut the thing open one time. Hallelujah, somebody. I had to find out what? I was just so determined to find out what made it bounce back. Well, we didn't have it after that. Because I determined I need to know what's on the inside. Brothers and sisters, people are wanting to know what's on the inside. And so you're tested, you're tried, and you go through this and you go through that, but you have to understand who you are and whose you are. It is the Christ that is in you. And so Paul is, is helping us to understand because, again, in ministry, there are things that go on. Paul had to experience it with his brethren. He had to experience with those that he thought was on his side. People that you think that say, I'm with you. Anybody got somebody like that? They're with you as long as everything is going. But the time that you need them to be with you is when you get into the thick of it. Whatever you might be dealing with. That's what a real friend is. But Brother Paul had to understand. He says, but persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always doing what? Bearing about in the body. The dying. See, many times, brothers and sisters, we have, to, we have to reflect. Why? And I often ask, why have I gone through this? Or why, Lord, do I go through that? Because Paul is declaring and uh, helping us to understand why do I press forward toward the mark of the price of the high calling in Christ Jesus? Why? Because there's a prize for me. There is something to gain. And you've got to understand if you don't go through it, you won't be able to come out with victory. How many of you want victory in your life? Amen. This week, this year, you've got to know, you've got to know, brothers and sisters, that tests and trials, can I get a witness today? Tests and trials are going to come. We don't ask for them, but they're going to come. Look at our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, and all that he went through. But the, the thing that we have to be clear of is that he was destined to go through it. The Bible declares, brothers and sisters, as we look at his word, it declares that if we apply what Christ went through to our lives, we will understand that after it all, we'll come forth, hallelujah, as pure gold. And Paul, Paul says to us in the 11th verse, he says, for we which live are always delivered, hello, unto the death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be what made manifest. What, what, what do you want people to see? You or Jesus? How many of you want them to see Jesus? Crucify. Lie on you. Talk about you. What's going to come forth? Jesus. That's what we want. To come forth. Because Gold is not gold unless it's, can I get a witness? And how many of us are willing to go through the, how many of you are really today, amen, say, Pastor, I'm ready to go through the, I want Jesus, I want all that he has for me. I, but brothers and sisters, let's be clear, we're going to go through some things. But we got to determine in our, in our heart and in our mind. Because see, Brother Paul made up in his mind once he was knocked off of that beast that from this moment on, I'm going to serve the Lord. There's some people, brothers and sisters, we've got to encourage because they've gone through some things in life. And you've got to speak into their heart and to their mind and let them know for Christ they live and for Christ. Hallelujah. They'll die. We have to know, brothers and sisters, everything is not going to go our way. Hebrews tells us, brothers and sisters, that we have a great cloud 
of witnesses. Hello? That's why you and I can continue to march forward and press forward and do what we do for Christ. Why? Because we have a cloud of witnesses that have gone on before us. We can look unto Jesus Christ, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, and say, I'm going to make it through this. That's why I asked you the question today, what's new? And your answer is me. Because there's been a change that takes place took place in my life. The Lord has visited me and has talked. I don't know about you, but the Lord has visited me and he has talked to me. And when you let God talk to you, you let the angels minister unto your heart. And if you let the, minister, the, the angels minister unto your spirit, you are able to relax. Can I get a witness? And whatever comes your way, like the man with the storm. He'd been, while well, everything else was being torn down around him, and then he was able to say, right on, King Jesus. He was able to say, peace, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we have to be at that point, brothers and sisters, in our, in our lives, because you never, let me, let me help you today, you never know what's going to hit you. You never know what's going to come at you. And that's why, as Paul is encouraging us to understand that we press forth the prize to the high calling that is in Christ Jesus. We've got to determine in, in our heart and our mind, Lord, whatever your will is for me, I'm willing. And look at what Paul says. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there if there be any virtue, if there be any praise think on what? what are you going to, what are you going to think on? the good things, think on how God has blessed you think about how God has brought you through, think about the time where you sat in a room and you thought about doing something to yourself because you were down that low but God, some, some of you may not know, amen, what we're talking about, but there's been some folk, amen, that have been so low. But thank God that when they thought of the goodness of Jesus, when they thought about what God has done for them, when they thought about how God has brought them through, they got up and began to praise God and thank God for life. You've got to have a determination, brothers and sisters, in your heart and your mind. That, and don't wait till you go through it. Don't wait till tests and trials come. You've got to determine in your heart, in your mind, that Lord, right now, even though nothing is going wrong in my life, I want to give you the praise. I want to give you the glory. So that when you go through it, you'll be able to, can I get a witness today? You'll be able to praise God. Why? Because you determine in your heart, in your mind, that I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ See, Jesus. So Paul says to us in the ninth verse, he says, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen. That's why, brothers and sisters, I can thank God. Amen. I can thank God for our forefathers. I can thank God for our foremothers. I can thank God for those who have gone before us. When I think about uh, Cousin Numa, Sister Beer, amen, and the work, hallelujah, that she did. Amen. When we were, we were little kids, spending time, hallelujah, in the church, praying, amen, that this ministry will continue to go forth and go on in Christ Jesus. And even in the midst of that, it was persecuted. But that didn't stop her. She still persevered. She still went forth. And so, therefore, we sit here today giving God the praise for what God has done. Why? Because somebody took time to intercede. Somebody took time to cry out before the Lord. Somebody took time to fall out, hallelujah, before the Lord. For in the behalf of us who are here, oh God, today. Brothers and sisters, we have that same opportunity to press uh, uh, forward and to be able to say, God, I'm doing this because I want you to be glory. It's not about us. But it's about what God can do in us. And just think of what 
can happen, brothers and sisters, if we get on one accord, we, we have one heart, we have one mind, and we position ourselves to do what God has called us to. No matter who comes against us, no, no matter who talks about us, no matter who says it can't be done, we have determined. Hallelujah. Through God, his grace and his mercy that I'm going to. Make it. Why? Because I determined in the beginning of this year to press forward towards the mark or the pride of the high calling. But first and foremost, I throw myself before God and say, God, forgive me of my. God, deliver me. Some of us have to ask God to deliver us from us. Hallelujah. But thank God that He knows how. To do that. Thank God because it's through his word. Thank God it's because it's through it's your brother, it's through your sister, it's through the saints of God. When we get together to worship and magnify God, when we get together to pray and thank God and submit things before God, we see God work in our hallelujah. We see the manifestation of God. What I share with you here today is that Paul didn't let the brethren deter him. Paul took every opportunity that he could to thank God for that one that's coming against him. Come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. And say, Lord, I want to thank you. Hallelujah. For my sandpaper. God, I want to thank you, amen, for that one that's rubbing me the wrong way. God, I want to thank you for that one that's coming against me. God, I want to thank you for the test and the trials. God, I want to thank you, oh God, even for delivering me. got to have the word of God. That's why he says, finally, brother, whatsoever things are what? True, honest, just, pure, good. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. And so Paul says in the ninth, in that ninth verse, he says, the things that you have seen, the things that you have heard, that the God of peace will do what? How many of you, I'm going to try to close here, but how many of you know what peace is all about? Can I get the hands of those that understand and know what, hallelujah, peace is all, we live in a world of confusion, but thank God for peace. And we have to know, brothers and sisters, that we have the word of God, amen, to speak peace into existence when there is confusion because God is not God is not the author hallelujah of confusion and so even if the devil is using me somebody's got to pray for hello pastor you're out of control pastor this pastor that and if you if you I know a God that's able to bring pastor, hallelujah, in the subjection to the will of God. And sometimes, brothers and sisters, we, 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 try to, we try to straighten one another out. But I'm so glad that it is the word of God that penetrates the heart and the mind of an individual that the word of God will straighten. We, we, we've tried it for years, haven't we? The apostolic church, we've tried, amen, to make people live holy. Can I get a witness? We've tried to make folk live right. And we've told them, we, you got to do this and you got to do that. And, 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 you know, as long as they did it in our presence and we knew that we, we, but Lord, have mercy. There's some folk that have done some stuff outside of our presence. You didn't even know it. But thank God for the spirit of God that gives revelation. Hallelujah. That, that helps us to understand, to be able to come alongside them and help them. Can I get away? Aren't you glad, amen, that somebody took time to help you? Because all of us weren't right. But I am so glad that in this year to come, God has given us another opportunity to press forward, get another opportunity to get it right. And those things that the adversary is throwing at us, we put the word of God. Hmm the word of God on him. We put the devil on the run, not ourselves. 
don't run, amen, from the circumstances. But we stand still and we see the salvation of the Lord. What is God saying to us today? That we press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. And that we make a determination that, Lord, whatever you send me through, allow me to go through, that, Lord, your will you got to have a positive outlook. Can I get a witness? If you're, if you're going to win, nobody goes into a race thinking that I'm going to lose. I don't care how many runners there are. You go into that race and you get into your stand and you get ready to go to do what? How many winners do we have? Y'all slow. Amen. But everybody should have jumped up on your feet and said, I'm a winner. Yes, I'm a winner. But I run this race with patience. Sometimes, brothers and sisters, we get ahead of things, but we've got to ask God to give us patience, ask God to give us peace, ask God to slow down so that his will will be done. So when you get to the finish line, you were declared what? The winner. I don't care how many people are running. My mind, my determination is that I am a winner. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you, God, for your word. We thank you for the determination that each and every one of us have in this room today. And those who are watching, Oh, God, by you, stream, we pray and we thank you, Lord God, for the desire that we have today, that we have victory on our mind. We have a determination that we're going to win. And we ask that your peace, hallelujah, will continue to abide with us. Most important, that your word, Lord God, would uphold us. We bind every force, every power, oh, God, of the adversary. And God, we thank you for showing us what is before us. That, Lord, we as your people, the church as a body, God will stand and do the right in the mighty name of Jesus. And the church says, how many of you have enemies? I got some enemies. So I'm going to pray for you. And I'm going to pray for your enemies. Because the word of God says that he'll make our enemies what? And we need the victory over our enemies that we might have peace. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for our enemies those that have raised their hands today and recognize that they've got some situations that they're having to deal with, with some individuals. But in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask for peace in the name of the Lord. And the Lord, that your word will come alive. And Lord, that you will give us the strength to speak life into them. That Lord, that after today they will no longer be our enemies. That, Lord, you will turn this situation around. In the name of Jesus, put your hands together and give God praise for your, your enemies. Peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sweep over our spirit forever. I pray. peace of God in Jesus name God bless each of you amen on this first Sunday as we amen have come to be before the Lord but we're looking for an outpouring of God in our lives and we're looking for a change we're not complaining can I get a witness today we're not complaining but we're going to throw our hands how many of you want to praise God more I'm going to want to thank God more in this year, in this year to come. So you got to help your brother. You got to help your, 
your sister when you find them complaining start praising God start giving God the glory help them to understand that complaining won't won't work but if you give God the praise then God will do a much better job in our our life amen and we'll see amen the mighty hand of of God God bless you amen if you will check with financial staff for me to make sure brothers and sisters that we have reached our goal and I want to thank each of you for your support amen in ministry amen as we continue to to move forward amen in the work that God has called us here amen to do and it takes finance and I'm asking the church amen to continue to be 100% in your tithing and in your offering amen so if you will help me amen on today I say let me know where we're, where we're at I have a figure amen in mind amen but I want to make sure that I'm I'm good thank you amen so if you will amen five hundred and ten dollars amen and we'll have our go amen for for today amen would you help us